MOA is basically a Tbilisi-based architectural and placemaking office. Uh, it has a prominent experience in uh, architecture, urban and placemaking and spatial design. And the office is founded by Devi Kituashvili and Logiko Sakwarvidze. Um, the story is more the, is that uh, both Devi and Logiko were part of the team of uh, the office, uh, which was called Architects of Invention. And from 2010, Devi had become the founding partner of Architects of Invention, which later was divided in two firms with offices in, in uh, London and one office in Tbilisi. Uh, subsequently, uh, they uh, have transformed Tbilisi office in a multiverse architecture from 2012. Um, both uh, are principles of MUA, and uh, it should be highlighted, I think, and we'll talk about Fabrica Tbilisi later on in more details, that uh, both of them are founders and brand directors of Fabrica Tbilisi. Uh, we have the team which is composed by architects. We had, uh, have the interior department, uh, production team, uh, financial management, etc. And me and Natalia are design managers and associate partners of Multiverse Architecture. So uh, now we would like to show you also some of the projects implemented by MUA and uh, already built, uh, which are all ongoing or concept uh, projects. Uh, one of the projects is now I will start from the built ones in, uh, in the, quite in the same period and they are like similar projects in terms of functions. Um, this was the, the municipal building which is uh, built in Lazica in 2012. Uh, Lazica is the city which is located uh, in the coast of the Black Sea. Uh, and I will tell you the short concepts, let's say, of the buildings which we, will, we, we want to highlight. Uh, the idea of this project uh, was to make a building as a sculpture, which uh, was made of one material, let's see. Uh, building is seen as a series of floating objects, and the suspended volumes create public spaces separated from each other. Uh, and it is designed in a way that each volume of the building can uh, function separately. And uh, as it was the municipal building, uh, here were different functions like offices, uh, marriage uh, area where you can, can sign the, the marriage. And the, the functions are divided uh, in shapes and uh, in visual as well. As you can see, some of them are transparent, semi-transparent, and translucent. Uh, let me show you the other images of the project. Okay, this was Lazica. The next municipal building uh, was uh, the uh, House of Justice in Ozurgeti. Uh, this is the western part of Georgia. And the concept behind the building was to bring together a number of services such as uh, civil registry agency, national agency of public registry, national archive of Georgia, and all those spaces were designed under one roof. Uh, the concept was uh, the, the transparency of the building, let's say, and the communication between all of these functions. Uh, another building of the same period is the prosecutor's office, which is located in Tbilisi, this one. Um, so while working on this project, the aim of the uh, team was to design the building as a solid functional body. Uh, since the building uh, would inhabit the prosecutor's house, the idea was to represent the, the nature of the legal system, let's say, and the, again, the transparency of the legal system of the period. Uh, the result was stark geometry of the black frame with transparent ge geometrical forms. And during the night, uh, 
the building uh, with, the, with the lighting on, it was becoming even more transparent. Um, okay. Uh, actually, MUA is uh, working on different kinds of projects, such as uh, municipal buildings, um, we have uh, private clients, uh, uh, we have residential buildings, uh, we have urban interventions and interior design projects as well. Uh, we have decided to show you some of all of them. So now uh, I will uh, show you some of interior design projects. Uh, this is the Silconet sales office in Tbilisi, which was located on the, in the city center on the main avenue. And the concept of, for this office was the transmitter actually. So, which is the device for transferring information. And the sales desk uh, was the communicator and uh, created the intimate relationship between the client and the customer. So that is why it is designed in this way. Uh, the next uh, one of the favorite projects is uh, the Philip Morris office in Georgia, also located in the center of Tbilisi. Uh, here we have studied many uh, options and office styles and we have chosen the citizen uh, office where uh, um, the people can choose where they would like to work. Uh, this was actually very cool before Corona. Maybe now the office typology will change as well. Uh, then we have uh, private clients as well. Now we have two ongoing projects for residential villas. Uh, this is uh, the, the, the client uh, is a family actually, sister and brother, and they wanted to have uh, two separate houses. So this is one block and this is the other one, completely separate with separate entrances, uh, separate pools uh, uh, and all the areas. But uh, at the end we have uh, the building which gives us the, the, the look that it is one whole um, architectural visual. This is the next residence. Uh, that's all. Now we would like to pass to the urban interventions if uh, my colleague Natalia uh, will join and or maybe we, yeah. we yes. Uh, Nata, will you continue? Yes, I will. So um, I would uh, like to just uh, in spite of the commercial and uh, commission projects that uh, we are doing, we are also interested to develop our um, uh, work um, as a res the research projects and uh, public interventions and uh, one of the best results of the realized ones is Fabrica as you already mentioned and to tell uh, shortly the history of the Fabrica it was uh, um, um, abandoned and uh, not working sewing factory which used to be sewing factory in the Soviet times and um, for like many years, uh, this building's courtyard was closed and was used only for uh, like very dangerous meetings uh, from the local gangsters or garbage or etc. But uh, in a way, it was in a really central uh, part of the city, but uh, not really popular. So um, the idea of the MUA team was to transform this area into something like multi, um, multifunctional, diverse place, uh, lots of um, uh, cafes and uh, uh, little workshop, uh, uh, wo workshop shops from the artists and the co-working space and the studios and um, like um, hostel and etc. Uh, so the functions were developed after uh, 
working on the project for like several months. And at the end, uh, since Fabrica was established on this location, uh, the neighborhood became very popular. The court is open and accepted for um, the, um, the guests from everywhere. The neighborhood is using the courtyard very often and also the uh, spaces inside. Uh, well, the main goal for the design as well was to keep the um, character of the building, of course. The main elements also in interior and in uh, exterior were kept and uh, the goal was to adapt the building somehow into something uh, new and also have a sense of the um, environment that we found on the place. So uh, you can also see the images that the uh, facade, fa there's actually every year a festival uh, of uh, uh, in Tbilisi and uh, from uh, all over the parts of Georgia and also some foreign street artists are coming and doing these paintings on the um, uh, facade of the building. So it's like very active and uh, a live place. Uh, and its residents and tenants who are there are like doing many different kind of events, which is, um, uh, for example, markets or some um, concerts. Uh, Fabrica also has a rooftop, which is very active for some local band and um, kind of um, events uh, are happening there. Our office is also there. And uh, there is also creative education studio. So um, I would yeah. like continue the residence because it's like a huge list. But uh, at the end, the thing is that the, this uh, project is, is uh, very popular and very positive um, uh, example of how we uh, developed this our interest of the uh, post-Soviet uh, industrial heritage. Um, Maria, can you move to the next uh, project as well? Yes, of course. So as I mentioned, we are also interested uh, to um, work on some uh, public initiative project, which is not like uh, commissioned from the city hall or some private owner, but we uh, by ourselves are interested in developing the city in a um, better way. And we are searching for the locations which could be transformed in a Mm, transformed or rehabilitated or re revitalized and this is one of the examples this, uh, this is a place uh, around the Tbilisi, the reservoir uh, which is uh, actually a reservoir um, artificially made reservoir for the drinking water um, so before the Soviet times this place was um, just an area with uh, three lakes and Soviets um, transformed it, it uh, transformed it this area into the sea, and it's very active. And uh, the uh, place around it is uh, all green, and it's one of the main recreational areas in the city. Uh, so our initiate initiation was uh, to uh, develop this place in a way more acceptable area for everyone, like for the kids and the people who are using it as a sport place. Um, and uh, this was just a concept how to transform it into a, something alive and vibrant place. And um, we can go to the next one. Mm -hmm. Uh, this was interesting uh, location. It was a round shaped garage building from the Soviet uh, time as well. And uh, um, our initiative was to uh, bring here um, residential function for students and also uh, for um, young people and um, not really only young, but also uh, it was main goal was to be cheap. Uh, so the flats had to be cheap and uh, rentable and acceptable for everyone. So and uh, there was uh, some other programs uh, planned to have um, cinema and public courtyard and um, clubs and um, cafes and some art, artistic interventions and etc. And uh, it was a beautiful concept, but unfortunately the building was uh, demolished after some years and 
the concepts remained. I think I would uh, finish here um, because there's a re really huge list of what uh, mm -hmm. this kind of project that we have initiated and realized some of them. And our latest uh, one was the research of industrial her heritage of Pelisi. And um, uh, our colleague Tata will join us for the last day of the speakers. And uh, we can also share this um, project with you. Thank you very much. Uh, would you also like to say something about the location that you will work the on the workshop? Yes, just a second, I will share again. Yes, I would ask Maria to. Yes, I am I'm sharing. Mm -hmm. Let's see on the map first. This is the Na uh, National Scientific Library. which is located in the center of Pilisa, let's say. Nata, please add if you want to say something uh, later. Uh, so this is the library and we have chosen the backyard of the library. Um, this is the, the area where in the late years, uh, new residences have been built. So here we have the sports palace and uh, on the back side of the sports palace where once it was all green, now we have huge residential sleeping area, let's say. And then here we have this library and uh, there is no uh, much green space you, you can see for the residences, it's, uh, it's full of uh, cars and parkings. So mostly uh, during the day, uh, the residents of this area come here with, her, with their children or to spend some time because now we will show you the, the pictures and the, the reason will be visible. So this is the area which we have chosen. This is the back side. This would be the area for the intervention. Now it was empty because uh, one of the because of Corona and they are trying to understand who is accessing the site. Uh, but usually as here we have trees and some uh, sidewalks, it is full of people. And the building itself is, uh, is very beautiful. I think maybe later with the team we will discuss in more details. And there is actually the kindergarten as well behind this territory where even those children used to, to communicate with this space and have some connection previously. So this is the, the, the building and the sidewalks. It's like before Christ, before Corona. <laughs> the, the, here is the building. Nata, would you like to add something? Um, yes, I would just add that this area, what uh, Maria has just shown you uh, on the map, used to be an um, academic city, so-called. Uh, uh, during Soviet times, so on this mm -hmm. area was planned to be like um, very specific academic buildings, so like research um, uh, facilities and libraries and technical um, university and um, uh, it's so only several of them has been built and the library was also part of them and it's like very um, important important modernistic building in the city but unfortunately the uh, the area it, itself was developed in many uh, different ways 
uh, after the 40s, when the academic city was um, uh, commissioned by the government of uh, the Soviets and they started to build it, uh, the uh, area around the building, uh, 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 area around these buildings were uh, kind of abandoned and small kind of private houses started to develop there and it was more rural area than the urban area but after the 90s um, and after the soviet uh, times of course this academic city did not realize that as it was planned and um, uh, after 90s the land became privatized and uh, developers started to build their huge uh, block buildings it was kind of the story of the neighborhood and somehow this place is um, the library that we chose and the backyard of it is only one spot into the neighborhood which is like uh, public and can be easily um, uh, found from the neighbors and uh, lots of people are using uh, uh, courtyard of the library to um, take the kids out and uh, have some rest. 